just to stay within reach of Garganjeet. Uphill, right to left. That was a much better stroke. Good up and down. And so back to two again. Well, Gaganji Buddha was talking about the importance of putting here this week. And uh, there's no doubt about it, the man who's trying to chase him has certainly weaved some magic with his. This was at the second. Yeah. And this was at the third as uh, he tried to keep a pace with obviously Buddha's fast start. Oh, yeah. Similar length part of five, wasn't it? Funny enough, when he got to five, six feet, one and seven, he, he didn't make it. He moved it very close at six, mind you. Uh, uh, yeah, the par three, six. Look at this one at nine after double bogey, going into the bushes at eight. This is a real bonus. Yeah. Yeah, a good part as well to save par at ten. And it's kept him in, in with a shout. As you can see, elevated tee then for this 11th hole. Not quite as elevated as the one at 17, mind you. Just a drop of six yards on this one. Three par threes on the back side. Two of them are playing 235 and 36 yards, but the 14th at 189 might be the hardest par three of the lot. never rushes it from the top. And leaked it in the bunker. That is one common spot on 11. required for Bullock and he's well not in the sand but once again he's going to have to play a shot out of that Bermuda rough Shiv Kapoor birdie to get to 10 under pretty simple putt oh mm. Awkward line, looks like there's a little mound of sand just behind the ball. No, I was unlucky. That's a horrible light. Yeah. Well, he's going to open the club face, especially what happened to him on the last hole as well. Better contact this time. One is pretty even. Here's Knudsen. Maybe just a second birdie of the day. And again, probably hasn't been too many birdies here at 14 either. play situation here two testers for par first try for Kong he's deciding to finish up rather than mark it well for round four, the 11th is the hardest hole on the course, playing to an average of 
Very good. Excellent. So, Kaganji Bulla with a, a rare miss hit shot. It's been a little more of a struggle, hasn't it, on the back nine for him so far, but his lead still is a pretty healthy three. Welcome back, and as you can see, with just seven holes remaining, India's Gaganjeet Bulla enjoys a three-shot lead as he aims to secure his second Asian Tour title of the season. Let's hand you back now to our course commentators. Bulla's life is decent, you know, but not good, but he's close to the green, 79 yards. It's also skirting through. And he gets the nicer line. Well, and that's the difference, you see? That is such an easier shot than what Chait Prakon's got. He should get it up and down now from that position, whereas Chait Prakon, you know, I would say it's a really tough up and down. What a fascinating battle we have between Siddiqui and Scott Hend. They're tied at 10 under. Oh, that's a perfect spot to land the ball on. That's the best you're going to see all day on 14. Now, if he can get it inside Buller, he's done terrifically well. He's going to have to play it differently. Open club face, kind of a semi-flop shot, land it on the fringe. Oh, he's done well. What a shot! That's almost impossible. Oh, Jonathan Moore off the back of a couple of bogeys. What he'd give for uh, Scott Hen's tee shot here. That's a terrific shot too. Wow, <laughs> two brilliant shots. Tong Chai for another birdie. Finishing well, isn't it? He is now. Nine under, he moves to. There you go, here we go. Siddiqui landed a right. Can Hen land a left? No. Don't need to tell you. <laughs> He thought he did a good part there. Yeah. He's got a match Siddiqui's birdie at 15, hasn't he? Doesn't matter how you've played, something will happen for you. Start making a few birdies at the end and boof, there's your name in the top 10. Another big paycheck, thank you. Yep, exactly. Well, there is, there's a reason he is a top player. He has high finishes quite often. Now, if he misses, you'd feel Triple Kong's putt will seem easy. If he makes it, it'll make it harder for Titterbump. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, how has that not dropped? Dead weight, and it's gone right round the lip of the hole. Bogey six. It's so hard, isn't it? I mean, you're leading all the way. You know, he's led for ever since he, you know, with sparkling round run, you know, and shot that 63. Siddiqui saw he got to 11 on the par. This is how he did it. This would be a really gutsy par five, wouldn't it? Some, some way he deserves a par, but I suppose people will come back and say, you get what you deserve. He's got it. Oh, well done. As I say, gutsy that, wasn't it? <laughs> Tough tee shot here at 14. He's 
Oh. Same shot as yesterday. Same, exact same spot. <coughs> He's got a little bit more room to work with. It's a much easier <laughs> chip than he had yesterday, but still a bit sloppy. Anything on the green is a terrific outcome. Just like that. This is superb. Couldn't have landed in a better position. Oh, this hen Siddika battle. Oh, he loves it. Boy, is this guy tough or what? He hit it a little bit too hard. It can, you know, fly past the pin. Too soft. You leave yourself still in the rough. No, well, it's certainly going to hit the green. And there we have it. It's going to be his putt, I think, before Bullers. Brilliant birdie on the 14th, Jonathan Moore. This for another. He's got it, you know. He has got it. Wow. G. Buller can step off this 14th green here with a four-shot lead. He's got it. Oh, that's two putts in a row. That has just shaved the side. So, another move in his direction, but not as big as it could have been. Scott Hen needs the response right away. He needs to turn. And he is he's got his work cut out now. He's had a couple of runner-up finishes already this season. The Panasonic Open and the Queen's Cup. Gaganji Buller's lead now, three shots. Yep, if he wants to win this tournament he has to make birdie here you really think he's going to make at least two or three birdies in the closing four holes they've got to start with this one well he's given himself a chance the right hand just took over a little bit there well, Bula being a further up and a foot and a half taller than Titipan he can see this flag he's got 96 yards Oh. Well, there you go. You can see on his face how much he wants this, Jonathan Moore. Coming down the hill, 15 footer, it's going to break to the right a little. Well, that's exactly where he's aiming, about six inches left. Maybe even a bit more, that's going to lose right. Yep. If he can pop this one in, he can start relaxing. Oh. Well, winning's never easy. I was going to say he's making hard work of it, but he's not. He's working hard for the win. Jonathan Moore, long putt across the 16th. No. You're kidding me. Wow, he says. Well, for him, this is huge. He might have his full playing rights for next season. Jonathan Moore and his wife have also been enjoying themselves, enjoying the hospitality of the Venetian Hotel. We walked around the Venetian last year, kind of wishing we uh, we could uh, we, we would do it, uh, but it was our last night and it was late and it already closed down, and so. Uh, this was a real treat for us to, uh, to get to do it this year.
the voice uh, of the lady singing was just beautiful, so it was great. It's one of the nicest hotels um, I've ever seen. It's so big and um, it's so neat to just be able to see it and be able to uh, walk around and just hang out, so it's fun. Everything about it is first class and uh, it's really a privilege to be here. Come. Bit of work. This is not dead, is it? Well done. So the lead is three. Gag and G. Buller continuing to impress. Three shots with three holes left to play here at the Venetian Macau Open. Macau Sport uh, already have a lot of events uh, in uh, during all the year, and the Macau uh, Venetian Macau Open uh, already uh, in our sport calendar a long time ago. Of course, this year with Venetian, before is Macau Open only. Uh, so uh, we 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 feel this is uh, is very important event because they can fill up the terms and the sports combined together to promote Macau. This is very important for us to create a new, uh, another image to Macau. Gaganji Buddha then. Three shots clear. He's kept a bit of daylight between himself and the rest of the field all the way. Not much wind out here. Expect this one to be reasonably close. I think he likes it. Oh, reasonably close. How about seven feet? Is it going to be a grandstand finish for Tong Chai Chai? Rather disappointing effort from JD. Important last couple of holes for Jonathan Moore. And that's, oh, that's a great shot. I thought that was missing left. Matt. The best we've seen today. Shiv Kapoor to. Close with a birdie. Well played. 67.